15,555 miles. That's pretty cool. All them fives. All right, let's uh, get out of here, shall we? Oh, uh, there's the there's the tree. There's a tree. I got a bunch chopped off. Whew. Here we go. Good morning, folks. This is Mike Kaylee 7 coming to you on this November 9th, 2020. The temperature is, uh, I don't know, nice. Let's just put it that way. I still have on my summer jacket because the temperature is not very cold. It's 63 degrees. Got on my meshy jacket and I'm wearing a flannel shirt underneath with a t-shirt underneath that. And I got a heated seat and I'm fine. So, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Today's Monday. I've been working a little bit at home already, but now I'm going to go into the office and really dive deep in. Put up this thing so you don't have to hear the wind. I'm still using the old Cena 10C, so if the audio sucks, blame Cena. I'll try not to, to speak too loudly because it, it seems to overwhelm the microphone. I turned the gain all the way down, but that didn't seem to help much. So. So the topic today is futility. Yes, folks, futility. Here's what I mean. When uh, John Wilkes Booth was shot by Boston Corbett in that barn, he was shot in the neck and it severed his spine. And they dragged him out of the burning barn and he said, hold my hands up in front of my face, so they did. And apparently his last words were, useless, useless. And so that's how I have started to feel a little bit about my body. Because I've been much too uh, inactive. Staying home to work, not going anywhere. <laughs> And uh, I put on a lot of weight, and so, as you may have seen in previous little short snippet videos, I've decided to try to be less useless. And this was prompted by the falling of that tree in my yard across my driveway. I mean, it fell right across. Couldn't get out. Had to have somebody drive me to the store so I could buy a chainsaw. I got an 18-inch Echo chainsaw, and I made every mistake you could make. Put the, ch uh, the chain, you know, I did, I oiled it, you know, put the oil in the bar oil, and I put the gas in, and, you know, the mixture and all that, yeah, 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 that was fine. And the first couple of cuts, you know, they're pretty decent, but uh, pretty soon, the blade got snagged. I didn't have a wedge. I didn't know what a wedge was for. I never watched a video about how to cut cut up falled trees or whatever. Chain ended up coming off. I ended up putting it on backwards. I mean, I just made every mistake that an ignorant person can make when it comes to chainsaws. Except for killing myself. Didn't do that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I limbed a lot, and then I was cutting up the trunk and big pieces because it was taking so long to cut each one. I thought, geez, this is going to take me forever. I tried sharpening the chain. I got a, I went down to the store, got a second chain. And another thing I was doing was when you cut through the bottom, you're not, you know, you're supposed to be real careful not to let it hit the ground because it'll dull the, dull the chain. I did that. I noticed the chain doesn't stay sharp very long, even if you don't do that. The chain just doesn't want to stay sharp. 
So I got a file and I'm filing away and it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. I got a new, uh, I bought a new bar and a new chain. So I think between the new bar and the three new chains I own, I should be able to get the rest of this done. I'm probably going to end up buying a, a better sharpening method. Just so I don't have to sit there and go like this, you know, for freaking 20 minutes, half an hour. Probably doing it wrong anyway. And uh, moving all those big logs around and limbs and standing up and bending down and pushing down on that saw real hard because I'm trying to get it to cut through wood even though the chain is dull. And I didn't realize it was dull. I just thought, this this sucks or this tree's too hard. Or <laughs> uh, so uh, I was at the end of the day on Saturday last week. Not not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. Or, sorry, it was the Monday before Monday. So last week, Monday, a week ago. I worked 11 hours out there trying to get this tree thing handled. And at 7 p.m., I was lying on the driveway in the darkness, staring at the sky, praying for death. I was absolutely wasted, exhausted, just limp noodles of every muscle. It was horrific. And I thought, geez, you know, this, this happened. This tree fell, and I'm 50. What happens if a tree falls when I'm 60? I'm going to have to pay that $1,000 to have it removed. And I, I don't want to do that. Plus, you know, when I'm 60, any kind of exertive work is going to be De uh, devastating to me so I need to do something I gotta gotta stop this slide so I started going to the gym again because the gym is open they got a lot of social distancing stuff and you gotta wear a mask and this and that and you gotta clean real careful everything and they get hand sanitizer so I've been going to the gym and it's pretty much empty when I go a because of the COVIDs and B because of the time of day they're open 24 hours a day, so if I really wanted to, I could go later when nobody goes. I'm trying to be less futile, trying to be less useless. I went four days in a row, and then Sunday I tackled that tree again. I made some pretty decent progress, but between, let's say, 10 a.m. and uh, 3 p.m., I was really, really exhausted. So, that's the big lesson today is, at my age, I really have to fight extra hard to keep my body from uh, basically dying. <laughs> they say rigor mortis doesn't start till after you're dead. No, 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 no. It starts when you're 50. <laughs> Actually, for me, it started when I was 43. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm fighting a good fight, folks. I'm going to try to make this motive log on the computer today and share it with everybody. I got other videos that I was starting to process but didn't. Sorry. All right, I think I will go here. Yes, 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 yes. I'll park right here. You say, oh my god, Mike, you're nosing in downhill? <laughs> yep. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Alright, I'll talk to you later.